Guys, welcome back to That Motor Show. And on today's episode, we have a special treat. We are here at Oztalk Automotive. And for what's waiting in there for us? Well, let's go and have a look and find out. Alright, well, guys, welcome back to that motor show. We are at Oztalk Automotive. I'm accompanied by Steve. Yeah. Steve, pleasure to meet you. You too, mate. Thank you very much. Nathan. Hello. Pleasure. Thanks welcome to Oztalk. Yeah, thank you so much, <laughs> mate. This is, um, I'm a local. I'm from Jimboomba, so semi-local. Yeah. That's pretty local. It is. Yeah, it is. It's minutes. just down the road. And for just down the road, something like this, is it's cool. I like it. Well, but is it? It's it's. A... Well, it was a bit of a calling for us, um, and a lot of our group that we're mechanics and we race, so we're yeah. doing a lot with Caralbin with the airstrip. Yeah, um, I've been to a few, uh, one of them. Yeah, and mate, how cool! Yeah, a little old Caralbin turning it up with some drag racing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been interesting. We've got a little bit of backlash on it now by council, but uh, somehow yeah, we'll, try and we'll push get through. through. Yeah, because it's starting to get bigger and bigger. We're getting a lot of people requesting yeah. what weeks it on, what's the dates, you know, let us know. And yeah. and we then the abusive phone calls that we haven't got it out yet, the dates yeah, for yeah, the year, sure. so. Oh, I'm we'll, sure we'll it'll come in good time. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it. Council's get it. always got to dampen the fun and things, but yeah. we'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Won't talk bad. It's all good. Everything's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, well. Um, yeah, so. Well, we've been here 12 months. Yeah. Um, we, we moved in sort of Christmas time last year and set up. Um, and we've been doing a lot of mobile service and stuff like that until we got authority to operate. Yeah, um, and so you you guys started it? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. We started, we put the layout in. Um, we yeah. basically built all from the offices, the showroom, uh, reception area, all the way through to the workshop in the back. Wow. Wow. And uh, the, designed the layout and everything like that. So uh, um, I love the reception. It, it, it speaks. Yeah, well, we wanted to put a showroom in here because yeah. it's, you know, when you're sitting in the, the waiting lounge and getting your car done, you know, why not have a. A yeah. bloody supercar or a couple of horsepower <laughs> screaming at you behind your ears, yeah. you know. So, and then we got to put our big screen on so we can play our YouTube channel while people are there, so. Yeah, I, I, I myself, even even as a YouTuber, I, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. Yeah, cool. I, Jeez, I, 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 even this morning, I was sitting down watching it. <laughs> oh, I love it. it. It's cool. Like, for yeah. locals that get in and amongst it, like like you guys do with your own events and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. And down in Mildura, I watched that one. Yeah. Like, so cool. Yeah. yeah, that that Mildura event was pretty amazing, actually. It's uh, one of our first events that we did literally have not one issue. Wow. Yeah, everything <laughs> ran perfectly. It was, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, saying that's, that we've had no issues with our events at all, but like what Nathan's saying, like you get people questioning and, you know, they put the heat on when you're running events, especially yeah. when they just, it's easy to push the blame on the event holders. It is, so, it is. Uh, we didn't even have any breakdowns, oil spills, no. everything ran the schedule. Yeah, yeah. But that all kind of, cool all that? because uh, Linda, she yeah. uh, does all, all our work for us. Yeah. Tells us what to do. Mm. Yeah. So. No, and I, obviously you guys aren't just the only two presenters on Oz Talk. Yeah. Uh, Linda's joined in as well, yeah, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's been keen on the car scene, so. No, oh, that's awesome. Get, in the last couple of episodes. And, I'm all yeah. for getting women involved in it. Like, yeah. Well, we're, getting, Everyone, better, we're getting a better reach since we got rid of me and I'm so. so no. all good with that. <laughs> I'm just here for the atmosphere. <laughs> oh, jump in. No. 
Yeah, yeah. No, no. that's really good. We're, we're, we're happy. So 12 months is, you know, any like new business, the 12 months is the first stressful part. And we sort of, we got over that hurdle. Um, 24 is going to be big for us to just keep boosting Oztalk Automotive, yeah. well, build the shop and build our vents and, and get going. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's one of the biggest things in a small country town. Um, when everyone talks word of mouth mm. to, to get a business going, yeah. it's not easy. And well, yeah, 12 months later, you're still going. That's, that's a huge yeah. achievement, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, it, like you said, it is really hard. Like we've been pretty lucky though. We've had pretty good mates behind us, like Paulie and Lee, our videographer. Yeah. They've done an amazing job. PPLE. PPLE. Linda comes through with it again. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if it wasn't for those guys, they, they make us look good. So. Oh, well, the showroom. Um, yeah. Me being in the showroom, makes it no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you'll be the next. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Put me up there. I'm all for it. No. Um, well, we'll um, let's we'll go walk for a look. The shop. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Come and, on through. And so, how many uh, blokes you got on? So there's myself, um, and there's Marty, my foreman, um, and then there's another gentleman, uh, Jimmy, who's a TA. Yep. Um, so he helps with with servicing and tires and all that sort of stuff. So. Well, wow. and wow. then we've just had Cody come on board as well to start helping out. Yeah, Cody. Yeah. So, so episode you're doing with Cody in his red wagon. So yeah. He's, he's a car nut. So Cody is a nut. He spoke to us the other day and said, <laughs> "Can I come down and do some service work and repairs?" And mate, we just we just chucked him in. It's like first job door clutch on this. Wow. Water box out of that. <laughs> so he's he's straight into it. So. Oh, that's so, good. Um, he's got skills, which is good. Yeah. And, no. And, and, and he's got that. a personality to keep it going. Yeah. That's so, that's one of the biggest. Right. I've worked in plenty of workshops, and that's yeah. one of the biggest things: ensuring yeah. that you have um, a bit of personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keeps happening. the morale up. Because if you have a workshop that everyone's depressed and don't want to be there, it's really yeah, so hard, man. Oh, it is very hard. Yeah. yeah. But, but no. no, this is an awesome workshop. Yeah. What do we got here? This one is uh, Nick Owens. Um, <laughs> if you watched our YouTube channel, he drives uh, the Prem, the black Prem, Prem. HK Prem. Yeah. That's yep. his car. This is his other car. Wow. This is his first car. Yeah, true. And it's so, for sale. Yeah. But, but this oh, is this no. is a 1200 coupe, right? But yeah. his dad, Trevor, Trevor Owens, Owens, is like master engine builder. Yeah. And he used to work for pit crew for Will Power back oh, in the well, day. Oh, wow. Well, so he yep. knows his engines. This thing has a 1.5 litre uh, open wheeler Formula 4 engine in it. Wow. So it's got, I think they said it had 130 rear wheel horsepower. Yeah. Wow. Out She's of a 1.5 carby. Uh, and it's, yeah, it weighs like 650 kilos. So the first. Well, what thing, are we doing? Let's go for a drop. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. It's raining. Yeah. You don't go nowhere. True, true, so true. Second gear through a roundabout. If you're not ready to catch it when you're going through, you go. will hit gutters or spin around wow. on the spot. So. Yeah, so yeah, it looks this hard, one's too. actually up for sale at the moment. I think there's some idea on uh, what he wants to do with the Prem next. Yep. Yeah. And yep. he's got to lose one of them to get where yeah, he wants it. to be. So yeah, it's, it's, it's it seems to be the, the common denominator. Yeah. It is. yeah, yeah. You can't, I mean, like, it's expensive building one, let alone trying to build two or three. So it's yeah. crazy. And then I think maintain. his wife really wants one out of the shed because yeah. her car sits out the front. Yeah. yeah. So Probably. the Prem and this sit in the two car garage. <laughs> so. The oh. Defender yeah. is, a, is a big project that we took on for a, for a, the landlord. Um, it was basically a, a 89 Parenti Defender. Wow. Um, stock trim in the camouflage. You usually see these with the camouflage. Yeah, like proper arm um, spec. Didn't want it. We, he wanted to paint it. We pulled it down. We redid the chassis. We put a turbo kit on it. Put a power steam kit on it. Um, and then we took it back to him. He got it painted, the body, and then we're now slowly assembling everything back together. The assembly is the fun part. It is, yeah. We've got big set of um, bigger wheels going on, bigger tires going on. So we had a lift kit put in it. So yep. yeah, it'll be it's, nice when it's done. It will it's got be. The side rails. It's got yeah, yeah. Rock sliders, nice so. sort of stuff. So. Straight out this one gully we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, the sort of work that we do at Oztalk, what's um... everything do? Everything? Every, everything we can we can do. So basically, from all. Servicing, logbook servicing, uh, brakes, tires, suspension, steering. Uh, we can do manual transmission rebuilds, deep wow. rebuilds, wow. Uh, engine rebuilds. And we can anything. now do auto flushes. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah, just yeah. got we the just... machine to do that. So yeah. that's pretty cool. So, yeah. so we, pick, we pick that up. Do it everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, we try to. One stop um, shop. Yeah. And then we do the performance side, as you know. So, I mean, we take the projects on. We don't tell people that drop your car off and tomorrow you'll get a whole cam package done. Yeah. Um, we do that while we're doing all the rest of the service work. And we don't have a massive shop. So, it, it's a good size. But... It is. Yeah, yeah. Well, when we had nothing in here, it's massive, right? Yeah. Then you fill equipment in it and you're like, oh, we need a bigger shop. Yeah. Well, so, when you when you look at the the feeling of it, it's not exactly a bad thing. That's that's growth. Yes. That's, 
Yeah. It's just in our five year plan that we're going to have to get rid of IGA, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to score the cars. No. <laughs> Once Cody gets a few more cars oh, in the just showroom. Just with Cody's car alone, <laughs> yeah. we'll have to hire. Yeah, his garage himself. Yeah, well, let's, yeah. Uh, we'll have a look around. Yeah, we'll come so, on through. You've got the old Bessie so, bath. Yeah, we've got equipment and uh, wheel chains. These are good quality. They are, yeah. I've we, used we, them. I mean, I used to run a couple of Toyota dealerships, so we know well, what the best of the equipments are and what's reliable and what's not. Efficient, and efficiency and reliability. You, you reliability know. creates efficiency. Correct, yeah, yeah. And if you skimp on, on equipment like this, it's got to be used daily, yeah. um, and then it starts breaking down, you've got issues where you can't, you've got to phone customers and say, look, can't do your tyres today, you know. How many um, tyres do you reckon we change in a week? Uh, in a it's week, hard to say. Well, Depends it, if we have an event coming up, because correct. then we can do People want 50 sets in a week to... Yeah. Ten sets sometimes. And it depends on what we've booked in, right? Yeah. Because if we've got a week where we're doing a lot of like this one behind you, this this Kingswood, we're doing a, a carby a manifold upgrade on this guy's car. Wow. So you know, if we weren't doing that, we'd probably do three or four services, and we're probably doing some tires and stuff like that. So yeah, and there there isn't really a lot of workshops that touch carbies anymore. No. So that's no. that's a specialty on its own, Correct. a niche. Yeah, 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 yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. No. So people sort of don't believe it when they call and they're like, oh, can you tune the carby like that guy yeah. in the brown? Yeah. We had to take the trailer down. He hadn't taken out of his shed for ages. And he goes, oh, can you tune carbies? Yeah. And we came and picked the car up. He was stoked. Away you go with yeah. carby no. tuning. No, yeah. that's awesome. That's oh, well, let's uh, keep on keeping on. So we've got two, two posters. And two, two posters and a four poster. Four post. Tire changer and balancer. Um, we designed it a little bit better to make it easier to come in on the hoist position. The, the driving in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also left that sort of area as a dead bay area for if you're doing timing belts or got to pull motors out and stuff like that in that kind of corner. You do need it. Yeah, yeah we do because it, it's good. I and mean, we have the, um, the quick jacks, so they're really oh. handy as well. Especially like when you've got someone's got a motor out and you've got to pivot around, they, they're amazing. And some of the big trucks that trying to put a trolley jack under it and move it, man, it's dangerous, <laughs> especially when you've got like cracks in the concrete. Ah, uh, yeah. And things fall off, so. Safety comes first. It does, yeah, yeah. It does. So we, um, we put some shelving in there. We started yep. doing the tool sort of setup SSTs, but then, because um, th we've been busy, the guys, you know, it gets a bit messy and they need to it does. spend time to put everything back properly. The, the, but the best thing about it, this is a functioning workshop. Yeah. This isn't pretty up in it. This yeah, is, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is, we have this is we how have it is. Time. This you is... turned up today and it's like, oh, <laughs> shit, we haven't turned the workshop, no. but anyway. No, it, for, for a full blown workshop that does everything from tyres and more, yeah. this, is, this is actually pretty nice. Yeah. I, I, I would work here. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, nice I would. I would. Get a few more Fords because, like, this yeah, this is very Holden dominated. Yeah. It is I very. I mean, Cody drives Holden. I drive VL. So I mean, we're sort of Holden family. Hold, that's not Nathan's a, a Falcon Nissan, guy. You're a Nissan mate. Yeah, I know. That's, oh. I don't mind. It's I'm a bit of an everything, but it's, it's got everything. Um, but well, yeah, but majority of people that want work done and cam packages and all that stuff, it just seems to be Commodore yeah. and the Holden coming out. So it's definitely a it's a it's a good um, platform to work yeah, off. I guess that's sort of the um, area we're in. And yeah, the geography we are in Bow Desert, you yeah. know. Yeah, Commodore is it's a, the, it's the, yeah, yeah, that's it's the a, thing. It's the S, the LS, and the <laughs> yeah. uh, Commodore and Cruiser. And, You're one or yeah. the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. No, uh, it looks unreal. So, yeah, so racking, just got a simple sort of setup, engine tools. Um, we've got our um, oil waste area in the back. So, we've got a thousand litre waste oil tank where the truck comes in and sucks it out when it's full. Yep, safety first, environmental. You've got to look after it. Yeah, well, we had to put all the bunting the bun and stuff like that for, for Cynic Room Council and all that sort of stuff because we don't have any oil spills because there's no drains in the floor. Yeah. So everything has to be contained. That's fair. And um, we got, we've got a few LSs yeah, here. LS, LS uh, Planet. LS here. Gang. Look at this. Yeah, well, we've got this Ready one, for a turbo. One, two, and three sitting right in front of you. One, two, and three. So LS, LS, uh, it's a 5.7 on the stand. It's a six litre here. And that's wow. a 6.2. Okay. Wow. So yeah, we haven't quite worked out what we're going to do with that LS there. We've kind of got some idea of uh, we might stick it in the Datsun 230 for a bit of a skid peak, just for a bit of fun. <laughs> but, uh, we don't this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I might sit there for a few, uh, there little might be, bit. There might be a few Sundays we might yeah. come in and build that car. But... Nathan in the back corner there going away at it by himself. No, I'll no. just be riding it, cutting it you away. You can do all the body work, his specialties oh. of body work, so you can do that on the Datsun while we get the motor in. Oh, I feel like we've got a few more videos here. Oh, we can do your VL. Yeah. We can. Yeah. There's a few going on here, but yeah. uh, and we got the injector cleaner down the back yeah, there. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we just we just scored an injector flush machine.
machine so we can do all injector flow testing and, and cleaning and all that sort of stuff. Oh, um, wow. all, you notice all the checker plate as well. That's yep. all getting installed all the way around the outside of the building. Yeah. Because in 12 months, I mean, we try to keep it clean as possible, but you know, you have spills oh, and stuff. And it does. It does happen. Extended to touch white walls with hands. Yeah, so. I've look, done it. If a few you look times. up behind that checker plate up there, you'll see a few footprints where oh. the pushing. Yeah. yeah. Put, so we, so <laughs> very shortly. I scored all that checker plate, so we'll get it all the way around the whole thing. Yeah. The shortest, Beautiful. lower stuff that we're going to put around inside the showroom. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and around the hand sinks and all that sort of stuff. So. so, so um, Compressor as well. It's a one of those Chicago Chicago, uh, electric compressors, so it's quiet as hell, dude. You can be standing here while it's running because we had to be obviously with noise because of IGA next door. Yeah. So there's certain criteria that we had to be to operate here. I so. suppose that, that's the thing you don't really see often is a workshop next to a shopping center yeah. or like a yeah. Well, grocery store. Being my background, being mechanic and then service advisor, manager, all that sort of stuff, um, I did work for an Ultra Tune franchise. Well, wow. well, wow. and. and one of the franchises that worked really well, even though the workshop was terrible and they had bad staff, they were right next to a shopping center complex and it was just convenient because that shopping center had cinemas and movies and they would just get work after work after work. Wow. Yeah. So when, wow. We, when we had this opportunity here next to IGA where, where yeah, people so park the, and go. I got the phone call about it. I called Steve and he's like, what's next to an IGA? And he's got, oh, I'm coming down, we'll have a look. Yeah, because yeah. we did have a look them. at a couple of places in Bow Desert and some of them yeah. were shocking. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, there was like, one. Yeah, you could yeah. have it was like a football field, you could throw a ball from one side to the other, but yeah, it there was, was no down. louvers, there was no louvers, there yeah. was nothing. The doors were you scored well, you scored well. This is um, well, all the aircon's still there, so one day when we're killing it, we might put it, put in it back for the on. boys, yeah, but, but we, we don't have because we're behind Cody's car. There's a, a we're putting a roller door in so we can yeah. shut off from the office, yeah, and um, we haven't put that in just of yet, but. We leave that, that's open now with the air conditioning on and because it, it's got uh, insulated roof, that workshop is like air cons. You don't yeah. realise until you go outside wow. to the car park and it's 35 and you walk in here and you're like, oh. Wow. So the boys do get a little bit treated well yeah. with air conditioned shops. Guys, so. if you want to come for apply for a job, Oztalk <laughs> yeah. is the place to be. Yeah, just bring a lot of or cars just, with you. Yeah. <laughs> bring your car to service and you sit in the showroom. Yeah, so yeah. 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 No, this is absolute, This is a treat. Yeah, so um, we've actually got another car show in the next couple of months or so. Yep. So it'll oh, actually yeah, yeah. be the grand opening. Yeah, because we, we didn't. Done it yet. Yeah, we didn't really have a grand opening. We had we did a, a small one for the Bowie car wash. I came, I came to that. Yeah, yeah. But oh, we so haven't yeah. we haven't done our grand opening, so we will we will well, jazz this place harder. up like yeah. a mirror. Yeah. Um, and then put the show on and do the same thing, sausage sizzle, and get everyone to come down and yeah. do a big meet out there, and and we can use yeah. that grass field too. So. All that grass field we can use, so... Yeah, I definitely want to hop on that helicopter flight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, nah. was a, that was a certain raffle. We might even do a pre-meet cruise before. Yeah, here too. well... Might meet at, like, Yatla or something in a pre-cruise and then cruise here. Do something I'll, like that, man. I'll we be in on it, for sure. It. That motor show will be active. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be there. Yeah, for um, sure. At least we got someone to live stream it then. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> yeah. everyone says, why don't you just live stream your own events? And you're just like, really? It's, it's hard to it's run. It's a lot harder yeah. than you think. Yeah. But so. no, you guys have pulled it off really well. Yeah. Um, well, thanks heaps for coming out. Yeah, man. no it's worries. Awesome to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah, You're welcome anytime. Pleasure, time. pleasure. Yeah, no, yeah. this has been a treat. Guys, Oz Talk Automotive. Yep. Can't, you can't miss it. You drive through Bow Desert and it's, it's right there. You can't miss the sign. Well, unfortunately, due to a storm, the sign yeah, kind of missing. blew over. <laughs> <laughs> Still but, walk about. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Oz Talk Automotive. These guys are legends. The workshop's impressive. Um, anything from tyres, suspension, servicing, brakes, brakes steering, Dip, engines yeah. and more. <laughs> These are you guys. That motor show. Don't forget it. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, yeah, don't forget to follow Oztalk as well. Thanks guys.